Listen up, this is only gonna take a minute. My name is Dylan Gallagher, founder of Emily Now. My goal is to provide practical and simple content entrepreneurs can use to increase the value of their business. My hope is that you'd be entertained and encouraged because let's face it, being an entrepreneur, it's not always easy. Sometimes it helps to discover what others are doing. So thanks for hanging out and let's get to it. Amazon doesn't need to make money on groceries, putting pressure on Walmart and Kroger. Let's take a look here. What does this tell us? It says, um, by cutting prices on staples at Whole Foods, e-commerce giant looks to boost traffic at rivals' expense. Uh, Amazon is signaling that it will compete for traffic even if it loses money. It hopes it can bring shoppers into stores, win their loyalty, and the whole company will then uh, encourage people to spend more money, says former Amazon executives. Thanks for tuning in. Always love finding stories that the big guys, the big companies, the large corporations, um, um, stories about what they're doing because there's nothing unique about being uh, large uh, other than your size, but all of the rules and all of the strategies apply equally well to small and medium sized businesses. And so this article today prompted me to think, let's talk about loss leaders and let's talk about the impact of that because I think a lot of small businesses say to themselves or even medium sized businesses, look, we don't need to have a loss leader product. Our product is good enough, our service is good enough that we don't need to tease people with anything. But the truth is, whether you're Amazon giving away groceries uh, at a loss just to get people into your store so that over time they're going to purchase more with your business, as a small and medium sized business, you have a loss leader as well. For the most part, that takes the form of marketing and sales uh, and trying to originate a new client. So the loss leader might be, I'm going to invest 50 hours over the next three weeks creating Google ad campaigns, Facebook ad campaigns, content, uh, I'm going to go to coffee meetings. like. All of that stuff is your loss leader. And that's your loss leader for your sales team to be able to attract the attention of somebody and hopefully that uh, attention, once it's been caught, can be capitalized on and there can be value brought to that relationship and then profits can be earned and so on and so forth. So I guess the question today would be, what's, your what's the loss leader in your business, in your small business? And it's important to define what that loss leader is because if you've never stopped to think about what are you giving away in your business to generate a customer, then you probably don't know your business as well as you think you do. Because if you've, you're already spending some amount of money, effort, time, a combination of all to be able to generate a customer. So the question is, is it the best use of that energy and that time and that money when you could be doing some other things? So take affiliate marketers, for example. Affiliate marketers create squeeze pages and landing pages and online content in an attempt uh, that's their giveaway. That's what they what they give away for free, what they invest their time and effort and energy into in hopes that someone's going to land on Amazon.ca or some other website, purchase a product, and then they get a commission. But for us entrepreneurs that are running businesses, we have to figure out what's our loss leader. What is it that we're giving away for free in hopes of generating a client? And then is it effective and is that the best thing to be giving away for free? You know, as an example, I used to sell vacuums way, way back when I was a young lad, door to door. And there was uh, the company that I worked for, they would, their loss leader was uh, a call center where folks would get on the phone and they would tell people, hey, look, if Dylan can come to your house, he's gonna give you a free carpet wash of one of your rooms, your living room, as an example. And then I'd haul, they were Kirby vacuums. I don't know if you know Kirby vacuums, but these things are huge and heavy and clunky. And I'm not a big dude. It was like a lot of work to try and make that happen. Front door, bring this big thing in. And that was the loss leader. We Someone got a, a free room shampooed in hopes that uh, I would be able to go in there and sell them a $3,000 vacuum. And so when you add up the costs of my time and my investment, when you add up the materials that were used to wash that room, when you add up the time that the call center had to spend in order to generate that lead, the phone list that they had to find, the desk and computer or phone that they were using to actually make the phone calls, all of that added up. And then you say to yourself, okay, with well, $3,000 vacuums, well, you kind of had to pay $3,000 in order just to recover your costs and make a profit. And that's the point. In your business, if you've never stopped to think about the stuff that you're giving away, time, effort, energy, uh, capital, money, 
to generate a client, then you should. You should stop and think about that. Your business should stop and think about that and say, is this the best use of what we're doing? Because we don't have unlimited resources. We don't have unlimited time. We don't have unlimited money. We don't have unlimited knowledge and experience and, and labor hours kicking around. So what is the best way to use it? And then you got to figure out, is it worth it? And that can be a little bit tougher. But it does begin with figuring it out. And I thought that this article about Amazon cutting their costs on food um, because other grocery stores can't afford to do that. Other grocery stores, that's the business that they're in. They sell food. They make money when people buy food. Amazon, they do pretty much everything. So they can give away food just to be able to get the customer so that the customer ends up spending money on some of the other products and services that they offer. And the same thing would be true in your business. If you're in a competitive marketplace uh, where everyone is trying to get the same customer, the question becomes, what is your business giving away? What can it afford to give away? What can it afford to, um, uh, what does it have to add back into its margin in order to generate a customer that nobody else is, is thinking about? And so in the example of Amazon, it's giving away groceries. In my example for uh, vacuum cleaning, it was giving away one free clean room. Uh, but depending on the business uh, that you're in, um, you know, I think, you know, again, I think kind of the low hanging fruit, if you were listening to yesterday's podcast, is I think that you can give away something online. I think that if you can encourage customers to sign up for an account, maybe in that account they get a coupon, maybe that coupon enables them uh, within 90 days to get some sort of, of uh, free consultation. Maybe customers, you know, if you're in, in, a, in, a, in a service providing business, maybe they can take pictures of their particular uh, thing that you sell. Um, maybe it's a fence or a deck. Um, uh, maybe it's a basement. Uh, they can upload pictures into their account and get a quote based off of the pictures. I mean, there's lots of things that you can do, but the point is to think that your business isn't doing nothing to generate clients other than eh, we're just spending time on sales is probably not the best way to look at it. Every business is it has some sort of loss leader that they're using to track business. And then the question becomes, is that the best loss leader and are there better options? Anyway, that's all I've got today. The big guys, even Amazon, Walmart, they all got to figure this stuff out too. So if they've got to figure it out, guaranteed us, small and medium-sized businesses, we have to figure it out as well. So anyway, thanks for, uh, thanks for checking in. Thanks for connecting. And we will see you next time. Have a great day.